doing? Hi guys, so if you follow my blog, you'll know... Sorry, I'm readjusting. You'll know that I'm doing a book challenge this year. Um, I'd originally aimed to read 100 books, which seems so excessive right now. Um, so I decided to lessen it to 75 books. So instead of having to read a book every three days, I can read a book, I can cut that down to 25 books every four months, which doesn't seem like all that much. It probably will be, but um, it seems a lot more manageable to me now. Um, so yeah, I'm going to show you the books that I'm hoping to read in January and February. So, firstly we have Looking for Alaska by John Green. I haven't read this book before, this is the first John Green book I've ever owned, um, but I've heard so much about it. A lot of people say this book is life changing so I can't wait to read it. Have City of Ashes, which is the second book in the Model Instrument series by Cassandra Clare. I loved City of Bones. I almost cried in places at City of, Bo City of Bones, so I'm just so excited to start reading this. The Iron King by Julie Kagawa. Um, again, I've heard a lot of good things about this. I heard about this through um, the girls at Chapter Chicks. I believe the names are Stacey and Jessica. They're adorable. I love them. You guys need to go see them. Link will be in the info bar. But yeah, I'm looking forward to reading this book. Um, another one which I heard about through Chapter Chicks is White Cat by Holly Black and this is part of um, the Curse Workers series, it's the first book. Um, I heard really good things about this, about the world building and I really, really, really want to read this so bad. Um, the Maze Runner by James Dashner. You all have heard about this from Elle from All the Glares 21 and Chapter Chicks have read this and a bunch of other um, book bloggers and booktubers have read and reviewed this and I'm so behind on the times so I can't wait to read it. I believe the last book in the series came out like not that long ago or is coming out this year so yeah really want to read that. Um, Paranormalcy by Kirsten White I don't know much about this book, I picked it up on a whim, um, but I've heard a lot of people enjoy this. Um, the second book in the series is now out, um, so I'll give it a bash, see what I think. Um, I will hopefully, every time I finish a book, like do a little summary on my book blog, hopefully. Who knows? I'll leave a link to my blog, my book blog, in the info bar for you guys. Um, I've also read Anna and the French Kiss by, um, hold on, I have a bunch of books on my Kindle. Um, Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. That is amazing. I'll see if I can bring up. cover. Oh, it doesn't have the fancy dancy cover. This is what I don't like about Kindle. They just give you shit like this. Just a title page with the title and the author. Pooh. The cover is really, really cute. I also have, um, a sample of Lola in the Boy Next Door, but I'm gonna hold off on buying that until I get paid. So, also the Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. I have almost finished that. That's on my list. Um, the first six books in the House of Night series. I can read one of those in a day, quite easily. Um, 
and the Witches of Santa Anna. Find the author for you guys. Oh. Witches of Santa Anna by Lauren Barnhold and Aaron Gorvine. And I have a like a bind up for the Kindle. Um they call it season one and it's got claimed, tricked, rumoured, hushed, pursued, enticed, and ruined. Um I got this pretty cheap cheap. It was like seven pounds or something, it was like discounted. And they do a every set every so often you'll be able to buy a bind up of the San which is the Santa Anna books. Pretty cheap. So yeah, those are the books that I'm hoping to read in January and February. I may detract from that slightly or I may exceed it slightly. I don't know. Um <laughs> let me guys let me guys you guys let me know, ah, there we go, you guys let me know if you guys are doing a book challenge this year and like what books you would recommend me to read that are really fun and fast and interesting. Um, I'm hoping to also do a classics month this year as part of this book challenge because there's a lot of classic books I want to read like Jane Eyre and Wuthering Heights which I already have on the Kindle. Fuck. Something just rolled off my roof. I think it might have been a tile, like a tile just fell off my roof or something. That was creepy. Um, yeah, sorry. Distraction. <laughs> I should have been, been like creative and be like, yeah, that's the monster upstairs. Oh. But anyways, um, I do have a bunch of classical books on here like Jane Eyre, Wuthering Heights and Jane Austen, um, some H.G. Wells, oh I'm so looking forward to reading H.G. Wells and I also have the entire um, Oz series by Frank L. Baum. It doesn't just stop at the one at the, the Marvelous Land of Oz. There's like 15 books all about Oz and I just can't wait to read them. I've read like the first two or three when I was like 14 online but now I have them that I can read them any time I like. It's awesome. So uh, I might have an Oz month too. Who knows? Anyways, uh, I'm gonna stop babbling now, uh, let you guys go, and I'll leave links to people in the info bar. So yeah, see you guys later. Sorry for taking up this chunk of your time. Bye.